Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a get ready with me because today I'm heading to Spilt Milk in Canberra. So our music festival in Canberra basically. I'm really excited. I'm um, already drinking. It tastes disgusting. Oh, okay. Can taste the vodka but like, and it's 7am so I'm not an alcoholic. Okay, so Pretty much, I'm starting bare face at the moment, but that's just because we are going to be in the sun all day, so I'm adding in another element to my skincare routine today. So I'm using sunscreen. Duh. So I'm just going to be putting this all over my face to protect from the sun while we're at the festival. I also love putting on sunscreen because it gives you like a little bit of a glow as well. So the first step, I'm going to be using the, I'm using the Revolution um, Pore Blur Primer. I'm just going to probably put this on the T-spots of my face just because those are my problem areas. Also, we're going to be outside like all day, so I want it to stay on all day. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Revolution Liquid Highlighter and just pop this on my face so that the foundation that I'm using doesn't look as matte because I'm using the Revolution foundation as well. It's just going to make it look a little bit more dewy. Okay, now that I'm looking really crazy, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade... F12. It's only like 7.30, but I'm actually so surprised I can't hear anybody kicking off yet. I know there were people getting up super, super early for this, just to make sure that they had enough time to drink before we get there. Also, I used this foundation for the first time the other day, and I know that some people don't like the foundation as much as the concealer, but I actually really like it. Okay, don't mind the fact that you're going to be able to see my wig lace. Um, I need my hair out of my way and I haven't put, glued it down or anything yet. Alright, now I'm going in with the Revolution. I know I'm using a lot of these products, but I picked some more up the other day. So I like them and I'm going to use them. And they're cheap. It, they're affordable, so why not? So for concealer, I'm going in with C8 and then a little bit of C6 over the top. And then I also picked up a darker shade to do a cream bronzer with it as well. So the first one I'm going to go into is C8. I'm just going to put that on my under eyes and my forehead and my chin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of C6 just in the inners of my eyes. Just to brighten up right in the corner. And then blend it out with a beauty blender. Then I'm just going to be taking the darker shade, so it's C13, and putting it on my cheeks and my forehead as a contour shade. And then again, just blending that out so it doesn't look so crazy. Alrighty, now that we're not looking so one-dimensional, we're going to go in with the Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm going to go in with a mix of 15 and 10, so I'm probably going to do 15 more centered around where we put the concealer, and then fifth, um, 10. Did I say 10? I'm not sure. And then 15 around the rest of the face. This would be so much better with music, but like... <coughs> copyright. Let me see if I can... I'm pretty sure I can play some like non-copyrighted songs. Okay, so yes, powder. I, have, I was, wasn't doing that yet. Okay, so the next step is <coughs> clean my throat. The next step is brows, so we're not going to look so crazy with these brows that are just completely too light for my face now. This is Makeup Revolution again. Pretty much everything so far has been Makeup Revo Revolution, and actually I think this is a full face revolution. It will be, pretty much, apart from lashes and mascara will be. Well there you go. So we're going in with the Makeup Revolution Dip Brow Pomade and I'm just going to carve out my brows. Okay, brows are done. Um, what I've started doing with my brows is like not taking them like all the way out and just kind of doing them around my face and I think that they're starting to look a lot better. Okay, so we're quickly going to finish off the face, but I am going to be diving into for the first time because Australia is slow AF and if anywhere in Australia is slow, it's Canberra. And I only finally yesterday 
managed to get my hands on the Rachel Leary Times Revolution palette. I wasn't able to get the big one, but I got the Goddess on the Go palette. Oh, the Goddess on the Go palette. But I'm so excited because I love Rachel's videos. She's gorgeous, first of all, and really funny. And yeah, I've been watching her for a while, and as soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to pick it up. I don't care how broke I am. I'm picking it up. So yeah, we're going to be diving on in to this so what I'm gonna be doing first is going into going into this shade here which is caramel slice as a bronzer Ooh, that has some pigment to it that's gorgeous and it's like not too looking in the pan I thought there was gonna be a little bit more cool tone but it's not it's like a proper bronzer this might just be my new favorite step aside hula she has left the chat Rachel this is my fate. This is my new bronzer. 100%. Wow. That was. Like, look at my face. Have I ever had face makeup look this good? No. I'm now gonna dip into Golden Hour, which. Oh, this one. Golden Hour, which is the shimmery bronzer. Oh, I haven't even been using the mirror. This is a big ass mirror. Yeah, I'm gonna dip into the shimmery bronzer to add some more shine, because. Rachel swears by this. She is right though. That's like the perfect shimmery bronzer. Ooh, I don't have the setting spray, so these will be going on dry. But I'm going to dip into Get It Poppin'. I can't do her voice, but it's a beautiful highlight. I'm just going to dip into that. Um... Excuse me? She might have just did something. I'm so late to the party. Everyone else is probably like, um... Duh. This isn't even wet. And like, I have this Revolution highlighter palette, but the quality of this, which is, that one is good, but this, like, yes, please. Oh, right, now let's see what the blush does. So we're going in with the blush from the palette, which is called Sunkissed. It's this gorgeous shade here. Let's see. I'm not using too much because everything has been so pigmented that I don't want to get too much blush on there. Also, I kind of don't want too much blush for this look anyway, but I think it just marries the highlight and the bronzer together. And this has got a little bit of highlight in it too, so perfect. Alrighty. Right. Well, cheers to that. Cheers to flawlessness, to Photoshop in a palette. Righty, now we're on to the fun bit. It's been like 25 minutes, we're only just getting to eyes. Oh no, what happened there? I've accidentally dipped something into one of the shades. Oh no, I've indented it, but it's not in my nails, so like, what have I done that with? Alrighty, that's my other brush. So the first shade I'm going into is this shade here, so peach. Please, and I'm just going to use that all over the lid as a transition. Alright, and now I'm going in to the shade right next to it called Straight Fire, and I'm just going to darken it up. I'm just going to be applying this on the outside of the crease, just to deepen it. I'm not going too far out with this look, just because my eyes are really small, and I don't want to go, like, all the way out, and the look that I'm, like, got in mind isn't very blown out. Now I'm going to go into this shade that I've indented with my finger some, somewhere along the lines called Sweet Light, which is like a dark plum colour. I'm going to be putting that in the crease as well, but just more on the outside. So I'm using more of a padding motion with this one and not blending motion, just to really build up the colour. And that is literally where I want it. Like, I don't want it going any further than that. Obviously, we're going to blend it out, but like, I don't want it to be too far over. Okay, now that it's in place, I'm just going to blend it out slightly, just so it's not like, obviously, that weird shape that we just created. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Red Velvet here, and this is going to be my all-over lid shade. This shade is weird. Like, I feel like this shade is more pigmented when I swipe with it and not when I pat with it. Now, I'm just going to go back into Mixing Peach, please, and Straight fire and I'm just going to be blending out the edges. So that is the finished top of the eyes. I'm just going to jump off camera and put on some lashes and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and lashes are done. They're looking pretty, pretty full, pretty thick if I'm not going to lie, but they're the only pair I have. But I'm just going to quickly do my under eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the darker of the two transition colors. So I'm going to go into straight fire and pop that on the lower lash type uh, lash line and then what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go in a little bit with the bronzer just 
to darken it up. Okay, now quickly just some bottom lash mascara. I literally always forget about this step. I'm just going in with Hebelline Lash Sensational. This is what I just used to do my top lashes. And then the lashes that I'm using are the Kiss Lashes in the Style Lacy. Okay, and now quickly we're going to move on to the lips. So I'm just going to be going in with this OXX Studio Lip Cream in the shade Nude. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I probably would have edited a lot of like clips over audio. So this is hopefully a little bit of a shorter video, but... But I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed me. Um, but anyway, I am about to actually start getting dressed and ready for spill. But yeah, this is going to be my makeup for spill because I'm not redoing it. And because I also really like it. I'm not too sure what I'm wearing at the moment. I think I'm either going to stick with this or I'm going to wear like an oversized thrills t-shirt. I cannot be bothered with looking naked today. I just want to wear a comfy t-shirt and some shorts and some boots and we're going to have a good time. Except the only thing I'm worried about is like it's really freaking hot today so like am I gonna die? I'm not sure but anyway I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. It would be great to have you here for future videos. Also make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Twitter and I started a Depop so follow me on there as well and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!